Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your November 2022 monthly reading. This is going to also cover any eclipse energy that's happening right now. The way the video is going to be structured is I'm going to start the video with intuitive messages. This is where I cleanse the space with Palo Santos or White Sage, and then I basically connect with spirit in that moment through like prayer or meditation or whatever you want to call it and i receive messages for you on your behalf and i will write it down and so i'll read that to you in this video the next thing after that is i picked out with the help of spirit as well and the very last thing on the list is the oracle messages with that being said let's go ahead and get started by reading your intuitive messages don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button as well and leave a comment down below if any of these messages resonate with you even if it's just like a little emoji winky face, I would love to see you down there, okay, in those comments. So, what Spirit had to say to you, Cancer. Let me turn to the right page. Here we go. For the month of November, which also includes eclipse energy, what Spirit had to say to you is, are you feeling tired? Are you feeling lonely? Do you wish someone would just be there in the way you wish they could? Fret not, dear child of the light, for you are held in the sacred arms of the holy. Your mother Mary is here to speak with you in that you are held and loved in those very arms and are embraced. You are learning to love and let love grow in places which have been barren for so long. Do not rush this maturation, this growth process, the same as you would not pulling a sapling from the ground to make it grow taller. In due time, dear soul, in due time is your message. Know that you are love. You are loved by the divine. Do not let the aches of your heart and soul overcome you in the petty distractions of this world. Turn to look inward for stillness, comfort, and truth. Do not push or force others by way of will. Allow what is to be taking care of your emotional needs on your own. This is the great lesson of your life and days. You are held in the embrace of love by the Spirit and Mother, the Great Mother, Mother Earth, Gaia, Mother Mary, and all the mothers which have love to give and su to support you. Know that at this time, this time is a time to heal and deal with any remaining pains, guilts, fears, worries, doubts. You are being asked to slow down and take note of your habits and habitat. The habitat you create for others and for yourself on the emotional and vibrational scale. Take stock of your own vibrations. Take this time to clean up and clean out any remaining stagnant energy of old belief systems that, are no, that no longer serve you. Are you functioning the same today as you did five years ago, 10 years ago, last week, yesterday? Allow yourself to change rapidly. Allow yourself to make mistakes and love yourself through them. Allow others the space to do the same as well. Everyone is on their own healing path with their own struggles and their own divine timing. If you can allow others the space and patience to be themselves as much as you are yourself, allow others the space and patience to be themselves as much as you would like for yourself. Be a home, a refuge for weary souls to rest and recoup be the comfort to yourself as you are with others. Allow yourself to be comforted by spirit at this time, as you learn how to feel loved and let love into your life at all times, raising your vibrational frequency to the levels and heights that create a strong soul. You are a strong soul. Never forget that. Forgive your pains and move on and move wholeheartedly into the love with spirit. In the name of trust and of faith, so it is your future, full of blessings, it is set. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Amen. So, Cancer, um, unique message. Uh, that was definitely uh, different from the other readings, which I find funny because 
I, you know, I look at other people's channels. I watch tarot myself. It's fun. And I swear, every time I go to the cancer reading, I'm just like, this is different. <laughs> so something to, you know, be proud of yourself with is that you're different. You're kind of a, like a, a hybrid of sorts, I feel like you're a hybrid compared to like the norms that are out there. Even if, you know, from just a snapshot per perspective, your life seems boring or whatever. Not everybody out there is going to feel like their life is boring. But if you feel like, yeah, you know, maybe my life's a little boring. Know this, that you are absolutely unique in the way that you are where you're at. So we need more of that in the world. And I feel like this message is just like you are held, you are loved. Just keep doing what you're doing, cleaning out that negativity, you know, getting rid of those bad habits, healing your body, mind, and soul, letting others have the space and patience to do the same because we're all on our own journey. We all have our own timing and that is literally what spirit is saying to you. So sometimes it's a little frustrating when you hear a message that's like, you're good, keep going, you're doing great. <laughs> when you're like, well, I don't really feel like it, or you know, there's like a sticky part of your life that makes you feel like you need answers for the movement forward in your life. You, It's like you want answers, I feel like, where are my answers? <laughs> <laughs> and spirit is saying, hey, you know, you'll find out soon enough. Just keep going where you're going. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing the things that would create a strong body, mind and soul because you're going to need it in the next phase of your life is what I'm feeling Like there is a, a rebirth happening, energetically speaking, on the planet. And guess what? Birth is not comfortable. And guess what? The world is kind of not comfortable right now anywhere you go really it's you know it's worse for some better for others but still like there's a lot happening on the world stage right now that could make you feel very uncomfortable so just think of that as like okay these are growing pains and i'm just going to do what i know i need to do for myself to make this journey more pleasurable not in the sense of like diving nose first into those bad habits or whatever that self-soothing coping mechanisms that aren't necessarily healthy i'm not saying nose dive into comfort of your of those things but but really understanding what it means to feel good and all right despite what's happening around you because that's going to give you the energy you need to carry you the, the next leg of the journey. So spirit is like, this is happening. This energetic rebirth is happening, whether you uh, like it or not. And so you can either go kicking and screaming, or you can make the process a little easier for yourself. Really driving home the feeling and the message that spirit keeps giving me is for you, Cancer, is that it's about making the process smoother and doing that not only for yourself, but for the people around you. Because if you only did it for the people around you, you are gonna suffer. But if you only do it for you and say, screw you to everybody else, that will make other people suffer, which will also come back as karma and make you suffer. So it's like, how do you reduce suffering for everybody without giving away your power or your energy in ways that aren't sustainable? Like what is sustainable? Well, it's a give and take, it's both. You gotta take care of yourself and let that in turn take care of other people around you, but not in such a, like a closed minded or blocked way, or just like, well, I'm happy. So get on board with that. Or I'm sorry, you're in a bad mood. I'm feeling fine or whatever could be the other way around, you know? So something to take into consideration is to not be so harsh on yourself and also not so harsh on other people. Have some like pliability in your being. So I'm, I just saw like a tree getting swayed by the wind, move with the wind, but also the strength to stand upright and strong and grow those roots really deep. It's not gonna, a hurricane won't knock it down. And that's what spirit is like encouraging you to focus your energy on more is cleaning out anything that would make you feel like rigid and snapped. Let's go into the next part of the video. That is the herbs and crystals for you, Cancer. Also, before I get too far into this, just a little disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I am not a psychologist. I am a woman on YouTube who will read energy from spirit on your behalf. So take whatever resonates with you, leave the rest for somebody else's story, and let's continue. Thank you. <laughs> so. 
um, all three of these carry the same energy as far as healing the body. I mean, that's kind of what herbs do, right? The tea. Th these are all loose leaf tea. And so you can buy them online and you can drink all of these. I, to start off with, Paul. Pau de Arco bark is very good for inflammation. It's very good for being antimicrobial and an antioxidant. So it's just like cleansing your system. The spiritual aspect of this herb is rejuvenation, healing. It can be an aphrodisiac and, and help with love. So if you want to feel more connected to your partner, this would be a very good herb to drink. But that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. I think this one's more of focusing on, well, heart healing could involve a little bit of that, you know, that warming the, the heart with sensuality and things like that. If you're, you know... But seriously, the it's the healing aspect of the inflammation and the being antimicrobial and antioxidant that I feel is the most pertinent thing about this herb. The fact that on a spiritual level, it does require it does help with rejuvenation and healing makes sense because it's clearing out anything that would disrupt your system so that things can run smoothly because that's how your body wants to be your body wants to be healthy and in a state of equilibrium which is not too much of this and not too much of that and the, you know the the perfect amounts of everything for it to function and run smoothly and with the least amount of pain <laughs> that is the equilibrium that your body wants to be your body is one of your your body is your biggest advocate on this planet earth because your body does everything and anything possible to keep you alive and keep you healthy and keep you going you know despite sometimes the brain and its toxic thoughts the body still is there for you regardless of what you do to it so it's like you cut yourself on accident that wound is going to heal think about that you get a bruise that wound is going to immediately start healing your body lets you know what you need if you feel thirsty drink if you are hungry eat if you are not hungry anymore stop eating like being able to listen to the body is going to help you feel a lot more comfortable and safe in this world especially being able to if the the mind and the emotions are just if you're just feeling really eh and it's coming from the mind and your thoughts and the emotions you know it can tie the body in pretty quickly but it's better to just drop out of the mind and into the body and ask what do you need what do, what can i do for you you can talk to your body that way what can i do for you and your body usually you you will usually will, you will receive the answer before you even finish asking the question it's just going to be through spirit which is more of a still small voice to be honest with you it's not something that's going to be mean or loud or in your face it never never aggressive so if you are like well is this spirit or not well is it is it pushy that's how you know because spirit is not pushy at all like they'll let you know but they're not gonna push you like free will baby all the way and that's another thing is spirit wants to come in and help you but they will not come in and help you spirit will not come in and help you unless you ask sometimes you can feel scared and uh, fearful when spirit talks to you because they're asking you to take leaps of faith and sometimes that's not comfortable so something to keep in mind so the next herb is we're going to talk about is motherwort now i find that funny because you know that just as the name suggests this is something that can help heal mothered wo mothering wounds which is like how well do you receive do you, can you receive compliments very well um you know are, like are you having issues with your actual mother something to think about um how well can you rest and relax without having to like constantly be doing something how well can you just be without needing to go 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 and do 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 if you have a struggle with doing those things there is a wound there from the feminine energy and the mother feeling loved feeling safe in the world feeling like you can open up to safe people being able to have boundaries that's a good um, indicator um, whether or not there's a wound there or not. So what mother ward is about is heart ailments and health and anxiety reducer. So this one really is good for just overall health and well-being, but also really taking into consideration what's going on with the heart. So this will help clear anything, any wounds in the heart chakra, especially um, 
this herb will do not only that on a spiritual level but a physical level as well and the spiritual aspects of this herb is protection of women and children peace home joy and peace so it says peace twice so it must mean it uh, so i think this is really great because right now you're in a state where you're taking care of yourself and you're just kind of it's like another level up where you're coming back around to maybe some old things that have been popping up again for you but guess what this is like your second chance to have a go at it and make it a better experience whatever that may be so whatever you feel like you're dealing with right now that's maybe less than pleasant that is a that is some, a wound that's asking to be seen and to be healed by and half the battle of that is acknowledging that it's even there you know the other half is actually doing something about it but you can't do anything about it unless you see it so allowing yourself to be even be open to seeing okay what in my life could i be healing what in my life should i be healing or could i be healing because if you're open to that that's going to help you make the right steps into the future if you want to know well what should i do next or what should i be focused Focusing on or where am I going in life well this is where you're going you're going in the direction of healing and what does that mean it means it's you're bringing yourself to an equilibrium state on of body mind and spirit so that you can be a just a clear channel for joy who doesn't want to feel joy so that is literally what you're going for is joy and in what capacity you can achieve it's not even something you achieve it's something that you just like it's like a if you if you are a, a window but you have a lot of dirt on those window panes you can't see the light coming through so the more you clear off all of the gunk the easier it is for your in, inner light to shine through because it's just that's just the way you are that's who you, who you are so it's not like some goal you need to reach for like i'm gonna get a million dollars i'm gonna be joyful like no it's not something outside of you that you go get it's something already inside of you it's just about uncovering all the bs that would block your happiness your joy your light so that is something that this herb will help you do <laughs> okay next one is lovage root now this one was a little fun i had fun doing research on this one because apparently back in the day women would take baths with this stuff or like make a tincture out of it and like put it on their face or their skin and it's actually really good for the skin so it helps with the skin it helps with if you drink it it's very good for pain and swelling and it helps with if you have issues with fluid retention this will help release that so just be aware of that that that's a thing it cleanses the system it cleanses out any urinary tract it cleans out cleanses is out the kidneys clearing that section of yourself out is going to help you feel like like it's possible like things are more possible it's also on a spiritual side on the spiritual side of this herb the this one is also really good for heart healing believe it or not so you have two for heart healing so whatever you're going through the struggles you're going through right now it's not something to like force yourself upon to make the other person place or thing uh, basically change themselves to appease your wounds no this is spirit saying hey let's heal the wound and then you don't even need to do anything out here it'll just be totally like you'll feel fine so it's like you want to feel better you want to feel fine heal your heart that's what that's what spirit is saying and you know why not have a little bit of anxiety reducer with that and antioxidant anti-inflammatory both two of these are anti-inflammatory and so talk about cleansing the system and bringing in healing for sure these three herbs are speaking that to you is like let's get your body on board as far as feeling healthy clean and clear including your skin like on the outside not just the inside but the outside as well why not do that because the more that you can feel like a goddess and look like a goddess on the inside and outside just really taking care of your skin really taking care of your diet really taking care of making sure to drink enough water you know equal parts coffee equal parts water if you have 10 cups of coffee you gotta have 10 cups of water <laughs> probably more than that but still like please don't drink 10 cups of coffee <laughs> so that is something to take into consideration and apply it to your your specific 
life circumstance on what level you would need healing on the body, you know, cleansing the system, what systems in not only with your body but in your life need to be cleaned out okay <laughs> that's what these herbs these herbs feel like spring cleaning to me but happening in the fall during an eclipse like hello why not <laughs> spirit is saying to get a hold of these herbs and drink them especially for the last couple of months of this year and maybe a few months into the year basically through the winter i'm feeling for those who are in the northern hemisphere and watching this through the winter these herbs are going to help you feel less blue i heard from spirit like tell them to drink it for seasonal affective disorder or whatever <laughs> which I totally understand. I get that too. My can my moon is in Cancer, so I have feelings similar to the way Cancers can be. So All right, and then the next part with the herbs with the herbs is your crystal. So I have the crystal here intuitively picked out with me, between me and spirit for you on your behalf. What you have is Amazonite. Amazonite um, helps cleanse the system, believe it or not. <laughs> you notice a theme here already, Cancer? So I laughed when I pulled this stone because it just kept everything in your reading just kept falling in line with a very very clear message from spirit to cleanse out those systems get rid of those old belief systems get rid of those old habits you know like change those old habits clean out this if that means also like literally cleaning out your house or your car do it it could also mean just cleansing your you know just all the systems all the systems need to be cleansed right now because you need to you you are i don't you don't need to but you are in the process of going through a transformation basically you're letting all the gobbledygook fall away from you and your life so that you can be free and clear to fly as high as possible in attaining your life's purpose and also feeling joy all along the way who doesn't want that you know so uh, amazonite is really it is a stone of water it's a water element stone amazonite when i touch this stone feels like a rushing river it feels like it's just wanting to whoosh whoosh like getting rid of anything and everything that would block you from being able to have full flow of of your energy of your body systems of receiving messages from spirit of clearing the way for your life and the way forward into having your hopes and dreams come true i mean i'm not going to sell you short here cancer i'm feeling like this is this is the path this is the way that spirit is wanting you to go to be able to get to your highest timeline and live a life of peace and joy and beauty surrounded by loved ones and family doing something that you love feeling fulfilled feeling joyful all those things this is what the stone wants to bring you to and the way that it brings you closer to that is by cleansing out those systems making sure there's no blockages in the way like you know with a river if there is a beaver dam poor beavers but if there is our logs in the way or like old shrubbery that's just like overgrown and fallen logs and all that stuff that blocks the flow of water this stone is there to cleanse that out so you can just be free flowing in whichever direction of your choosing that feels the most joyful to you on a soul level so this is going to help in the way that it's going to detox you this remind the, the whenever i touch this one i also think of blueberries like blueberries and salmon like very like antioxidant anti-inflammatory uh drinking more water but being able to like get the minerals from it not just like have all this fluid around in your system but have it like serve a purpose um yeah i feel like a fluid more of a fluid heavy diet is gonna help like soups but like you know making sure to not put a crazy ton of meat in there if you eat meat or not this is really saying go clean go clean go clean go as clean as possible like whatever can be clean and clear 
is going to help a lot. And also being able to like allow your systems to be clean and clear every once in a while would help too. Just, I just see drinking water with the stone. It has to do with a lot. Of, I, fe I feel like for a lot of you, it's about physical health. There's a physical health that needs to adjust so that your mind and your and emotions can settle down. You know, this stone is also really good for connecting you to spirit, being able to hear your intuition, being able to feel guided throughout the whole day. And that is such a wonderful feeling because it's like, there, it's, there's such a comfort in having spirit say, go here. And yeah, the human mind wants to be like, but why? <laughs> And spirit says, don't worry about it. Just go here. And you're just like, okay. And then you do it. And then miracles happen. Synchronicities happen. You feel like you're on the path to, you're on the highway to heaven. That's what I want to say. Like, it's such a beautiful thing. So like the more that you can do that for yourself, the better, the more you're going to be able to feel that high vibration, that joy, that guidance and all that good stuff. And spirit just told me, do not be hard. Actually, spirit actually comes in from this side. I noticed <laughs> spirit said, do not be hard on yourself. If you make a mistake, if you fall off the bandwagon, if you like are clean eating all week and then on the weekend you party and you have a bunch of pizzas, guess what? Forgive yourself. Just say, okay, that happened and then move on and move on to bigger, better things, not by like ignoring, but not being, just not being harsh on yourself. Like acknowledge it, don't ignore it. Don't delude yourself from the truth. What you do want to do is be truthful, but you don't have to feed the truth emotion. The truth is just the truth, whether it's a happy thing or a sad thing, it all is honestly perspective. So being able to just see the truth and use that information to tweak your situation to be something that would work better in the future and then move on from it. There's no need to get emotionally attached to the truth. Yeah. Huge benefit of this stone is like heart healing, connection with spirit, feeling guided and cleansing and clearing those systems so that you are able to see and feel the effects of living a healthier, more balanced life. Yeah. Amazonite definitely feels like it has forgiveness in there. Forgiveness for sure. That is Amazonite. Definitely a good piece to get. I do sell stones on my website and I do have an Etsy. My website is dreamingdruid.com and my Etsy is etsy.com slash shop slash dreaming druid. And there you can find jewelry pieces of all kinds, as well as loose stones like this one for all kinds of stones and I also do custom work so feel free to message me on any one of those platforms including this one for any custom order pieces that you would like me to do for you so with that being said let's move on to the last section which is the oracle cards for further guidance and messages Let's start off with the crystal ally cards. You have one and the one oracle card that came out for you is storm. <laughs> So I know, really exciting, right? I'm going to read this to you because they say it so well in this book. It says the messages of the message of storm. When storm whirls through your cards, you are being blessed with a time of considerable change and growth. The growth that storm brings is rarely easy. Ego based beliefs, ideas may be shattered. Old beliefs that were held dear may become empty of meaning. But this cleansing of obsolete energies is crucial to gaining new levels of deeper understanding and growth. Storm is calling you to stretch out your arms to the sky and invoke the powers of lightning, rain, wind, and earth. In doing so, you will begin your initiation into the deeper mysteries of your life and will consciously embrace the necessary changes that the storm elements bring. It is important to release resistance to the change that is coming. The, the harder you hold on to these parts of your life that no longer serve your soul, the harder the storm will need to blow in order to help you release, help you to release. If you can consciously surrender whatever is no longer necessary for your growth or well-being, you will find that storm can be an energizing and empowering experience. Remember that the point of the cleansing is to allow you to regain dynamic balance rather than static balance in your life. With dynamic balance, you will feel more empowered to respond to anything that arises on any level of your reality. 
ultimately the goal is to live in a state of storm where you will embody all of the element elemental forces in optimum balance and in a, in a dynamic responsive way well pretty sure that's everything we've just talked about so your stone the herbs the intuitive guided messages are all falling in line with what the, the message of storm had to give to offer you cancer so you're in an as you are at a point in your life where you're being asked to level up and that means by harnessing all faculties and bringing them into a dynamic balance that i really love that word in this passage that's why i love reading these little messages here to you because they are very powerful and this message is very powerful for you i mean a storm is very powerful for you and just that whole like cleansing and clearing away old or stagnant energy and old belief systems everything like that that is what you are trying that is what spirit is, is leading you to do with the help of these herbs and these crystals and these messages so very very cool think about a question you have cancer like is there a section of your life that you're like oh well what about this or oh what about that or well how do i do this and well how do i do that or this part of my life is really difficult what the hell am i supposed to do about that like if you have any questions i want you to think about them and then i'm going to read you these two angel cards because they're coming in as answers to your questions so come up with two questions okay come up with two questions and i will read these cards to you and they will be the answer to the questions that you're asking even if it doesn't make sense just know that it, it's spirit's answer to you so whatever question you had for number one, your first question, your answer is love yourself unconditionally and ask for help. And the angel that's coming through for that is the guardian angel. Very, very cool. Everybody's guardian angel is different. That's why they don't label it specifically because it could be a passed away loved one. It could be a past life person. It could be literally, it could be any energy specific energy from spirit that comes in the form of the angel that ha that is assigned to you from birth to watch over you we all have a guardian angel and it's been with you since childhood honestly i feel that children easily connect with their art guardian angels whether they realize that's what's going on or not so think back to your childhood and ask yourself like when no one else was around to help you who did you call upon and who was it or what was it like remember the feeling of it. It, it or if you had a visualization of an image in your mind it could come in so many forms it doesn't ha doesn't have to have a name or a visual or a feeling it could have one or all three so just think about that and get back to me <laughs> So the second question, Cancer, that I'm going to answer for you with this angel card is let nature soothe you. Serve the natural kingdom. Serve the, na serve the nature kingdom. So this is Ange Archangel Perlamiac. So it is a green angel holding a new sprout. And so I also see this as new beginnings, new growth, allowing the sapling to grow without stomping on it or ripping it up to see if it's still growing like allow it to grow allow these things to grow within you let nature soothe you so that goes right along with connecting with nature and like even just holding a house plant or looking at pictures of the forest or just bringing nature into your home more and more having buying cut fresh flowers that's a really good way to bring in life and nature into your home and then serve the serve the nature kingdom so this means paying attention to the plants pets the earth itself so ways that you can go more green those are your answers from your angel cards now let's go into the keeper of the light deck now this is the one where you had like six of them also to backtrack a little bit here the love yourself unconditionally ask for help let nature soothe you and serve the na nature kingdom also really has to do with helping you being able to bring yourself into balance so loving yourself unconditionally and then if you do need help asking for help like actually letting your needs be known to the people around you that can help you don't know who's out you know you you don't know who is willing to help unless you ask you have to try you have to ask first for anybody to like be able to open up to you you have a lot 
of spirits on the other side that are advocating for you, that are cheering for you, that are helping you in this journey. You have a lot of guardian angels. You have a lot of spiritual guides. Maybe one sticks out more to you than the others, but they are all here to support you in this journey that you've been on this whole time. But it's like, I feel like you are so close to the finish line cancer that it's something that is needing to happen and of course making it easier for you with this support system this support team behind your back is helping a lot so the first card we have is paul the venetian experiencing grace bridget inner strength the miriam sacred vision the holy spirit expect miracles hope love and acceptance and Master Jesus forgiveness. So Paul the Venetian, this card is very much about heart healing as well. It's about experiencing grace. So being able to have grace for yourself, have grace for other people, that is a big chunk of what unconditional love is, is having the grace to allow for their to be mistakes from yourself and from the people around you because nobody's perfect so having grace in all things makes the journey way smoother grace is like lube for life like it just makes everything smooth smoother makes everything run a hell of a lot smoother having grace it says share your gifts with grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you so yeah along with that heart healing and also right on his chest he has a rose and it's like basically full bloom almost so there's like one petal at a time something has been revealing itself to you in the form of inspiration perhaps allowing yourself to be able to actually share your gifts but tuning yourself to having grace and love being able to share your gifts not with the boost of ego not with i'm better than you or i'm smarter than you or i know what i'm doing more than you or less than you it could go either way this is just about showing up as you are who you are and just being yourself in those situations and having that that air of love and grace about you while you share your gifts because you have a lot of gifts you're very talented cancer you have a lot of gifts and so being able to share that with the people around you and with yourself in loving ways and then the next card we have is bridget inner strength so instead of having a rose near her heart she has a bowl of fire <laughs> so this is asking you to really ignite those passions within you because with paul the venetian coming in with experiencing grace you know his whole thing is inspiration and, and gifts you know just with grace and bridget is giving you the inner strength to be able to move through whatever would be holding you back maybe fear maybe anxiety maybe whatever just you know fear of the unknown is a pretty big one it says move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power so whatever has been lacking thereof in your life whatever's been a little lackluster in your life is asking to be brought back to wholeness be to be healed and like what we talked about earlier you can't heal unless you see the thing and then actually do something about it so bridget gives you the inner strength to say whatever you've been telling yourself oh this is hopeless or this is pointless or i just can never do it or i always fail you know whatever it is you tell yourself of those things like this is hopeless or what's the point what's the use that is where we could use inner strength and grace and be able to bring that thing back into wholeness and realizing that you do have the power to make those changes necessary that are going to bring you closer to the equilibrium that we're talking about here. And the next card I find funny, it's the Miriam. So there's two, two women right there and in the middle they have a white lily. Actually, there's three lilies. 
with roses in the background. It says, sacred vision, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. I'm loving these love messages. There's a lot of like incorporating love into every single thing you do. Every single thing you do. Love is not prideful. Love is not jealous. Love is not anger. Love is not hatred. So being able to forgive is a way to release those blockages and that darkness that would clog up your ability to flow easily in life and with spirit. So being able to forgive those people, places, and things that have hurt you or stung you or made you feel less than worthy or less than or unloved. This card is saying forgive in order to heal see the light in all remember that love has no boundaries so there is no place that love cannot penetrate so if you're feeling then to be able to use the power of love in a way that's piercing through any negative belief system any wound any person that did you dirty did you wrong being able to actually forgive them and move on with your life is going to help cleanse and clear the path for you to ascend basically the next card is holy spirit expect expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back so this is a card of not forcing anything to happen this is about connecting with spirit and allowing them the miracles to come to you not forcing an agenda to appease your inner wounds that's probably part of the reason why spirit is asking you to fill up your own cup the another message about remember that only love is real so at the at the end of the day if it's not filled with love truly then what are you doing <laughs> miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back so this is another confirmation saying spirit has your back and in this guardian angel card there's this child sitting here and this angel has the back of the child so even if it feels like there's been a lot of abandonment in your life i feel like there's an abandonment wound and that's part of the reason why your your heart is being called upon to heal at this time and clean out any old belief systems that don't serve you anymore and the ways that you treat yourself and the other people around you it's time for that to change really truly time for that to change and hope is coming in to help you this is a beautiful card it's a woman with a lotus flower holding right up right next to her chest a lot all every single one of these cards has something over their chest like they're whether it's a rose a bowl of fire uh lilies this one has like a cup with wings this one is a another flower it's the the lotus and then G the jesus card has like a blue gem so it's like each thing has a thing over its heart so it's like calling attention to energy right here that needs to be healed completely having hope Go, it's right underneath the Bridget card, so inner strength. So I feel that hope is the fuel for inner strength. So believing that you can do it, believing you have the power to do it, requires hope. So reinvigorating that hope within your heart in the areas that you struggle or feel sort of ugh about, or you're just so unsure about the future, having hope that spirit has your back, that you have the inner strength to do what you are called to do on this planet. Okay. You have what it takes to forgive and heal and love and move on with your life. So be able to get to your highest timeline because that's what you're doing right now. That if you're watching this video, you are on your way to the highest timeline. And these are just messages to help bolster you up along the way the hope card says love is yours recognize your divine worth choose loving thoughts i feel like if you are part of a if you are in a relationship this is about feeling knowing that that you are loved love is yours do not question the love in your life because the love you have is yours rest easy in that recognize your divine worth knowing that you are worthy to have this love you don't need to fear of love leaving you or love running away or love disappearing forever or feeling a lack of love because you have divine worth to the point like you are worthy knowing knowing for a fact that you are worthy of love means that love isn't going anywhere love is here to stay in your life wherever that love me, whatever that love means to you in in the context of your life 
choose loving thoughts. So instead of having that fear, worry, and doubt of, oh, well, they didn't do this for me, and so maybe they really don't love me, or, you know, or oh, I'm worried because I haven't heard from them in two weeks, or, you know, like, that's why the grace card is also coming out is have grace for, for the people around you and have that hope knowing your worth and that if you know choosing loving thoughts is going to help you stay out of a lot of those dark places emotionally and mentally that are easy to fall into don't get me wrong cancer you're there they are easy to fall into that's why hope is coming in and saying have hope think positive thoughts love is yours this is your confirmation if you've been worried about any aspect of your love life this is your confirmation that you are loved Okay, you are loved by some, a lot of people out there. I feel like it's more than just one person. I feel like it's your parents, they love you. You have friends that love you. You have a partner that loves you. And if, let's say you're going through a breakup right now, guess what? You have people that love you, deeply love you. And it's not going anywhere because you are worthy, Cancer. You are worthy of this love, okay? Accept it. <laughs> And then you have Master Jesus coming in with forgiveness. Now you have forgiveness twice. The Master Jesus card was under the Miriam card, which is about sacred visions and allowing allowing to yourself to forgive and heal. This is this is Jesus coming in saying, "Hey, I'll I'll help you with that." It says you are on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So not only are you getting mother healing energy in this deck, but I feel that that something somebody that you need to forgive is a father figure in your life. Like you have a lot of healing, you have a lot of mothering energy in this deck, but definitely what's missing is um, a lot of masculine cards. I guess you could see the storm as masculine, but what is being asked of you to forgive specifically is the male energy in your life. So any male energy, I really feel like father figure, father figure, that's what I keep hearing in my head, father figure. There's a father figure that um, you need to heal. And I'm not, I'm not telling you to do anything that you're not comfortable with yet, but knowing that this is where you're at right now is you're ready to ascend. And there's just a few things holding you back, Cancer. And so being able to forgive that very last thing that's just been so hard for you to forgive, it's time. Now is the time. You have what it takes. You have that inner strength. You have the grace. You have everything all of spirit at your back with the safety net ready to catch you at any moment they have your back and so when spirit says it's time to heal your father wound it's time okay like i definitely felt like there was a mother wound that needed to be healed here as well but not as much as the father wound with it coming out very specifically twice with the forgiveness here okay and having the inner strength to do so so thank you so much cancer for being here with me these messages were pretty intense for you this was really intense i'm not gonna lie uh, so you got some intention intense energy going through you right now i feel like it's kind of coming to you in waves which i mean makes sense because you're cancer that's water sign connected to the ocean so just be gentle with yourself have hope know that you have what it takes and that you are very, very, very much loved, okay? Thank you so much for being here, Cancer. It was a blast reading for your intense reading. It was a blast reading for you, even though it was very intense. And I hope these messages helped and will help guide you into the future, into your highest timeline, okay? Feel that joy. You are loved. And I will see you next time, okay? Bye, Cancer.